What's going on guys so today we're back with another episode of f2p souls journey to ss and this is part 10 i believe i've been mixing up like the numbers in the actual videos low-key but this time i looked at my playlist and i'm like all right i actually have this is gonna be the 10th part pretty sure all right like i might mess it up again but pretty sure it's the 10th part all right but we're back with another part and today's focus is primarily going to be on increasing our support and that's been a major thing i wanted to do on f2p soul because as you can see we're looking good in terms of actual characters we got a max young dolphy with pretty decent medals like yeah it could be better but you know we got <laughs> we got general medals for him and we also got shanks as well who i should be able to boost too soon and also max his skills so where's shanks i boosted him already but yeah his medals aren't too bad either and we're gonna be maxing his skills soon so in terms of units and like main main medals for the units we're looking decent but what we were slacking on is actual support percentage our support still isn't the best and a huge reason for that is because we don't actually have nine star medals for all of these support units so today we're going to be going over how you could increase your support from super low and just maximize it by a lot so the medals i'm referencing here are these two usa medals and if we go to the medal screen and if I go to craft, you could craft them through the event tabs. And keep in mind, these go away on the 7th of April. So make sure you're completing or crafting these and upgrading them before this ends. Because for the most part, event medals never come back in OPBR. So you want to craft them, but not only just craft them, you want to upgrade these event medals in the, in the time period. Because as you can see, like, all right, these are fully upgraded, but if i have older event medals look at that event over so i can't upgrade i can't upgrade these event medals anymore so you don't want to be crafting a whole bunch and not upgrading them so keep that's that's like the bare minimum you need to know of event medals that's why i always try to get three extra copies of event medals because even if they're not nine star you want to have three extra copies you could use if say in the future the, the metal set is like super meta so keep that in mind but today the specific event medal we're checking out are these two usap medals so as you can see yeah they got their little trait but the one we're focused on is the number of stars for an assigned trait may be untrue and this other usap also has it so pretty much how this works is if you go in the rates every single every single stat you get even if it's attack 6.5 well, like as compared to attack 14% look at that the rates are super high for these lower attacks but even so it's a three star trait so pretty much what that means is you're guaranteed a nine star medal each time you fully upgrade these Usa medals if you take a look at the rates for the other medals this is how they look so yeah you could get your three star traits but if you start scrolling down an attack 6.5 is only a two star trait and sometimes you could also just get a one star trait here so as you can see these usap medals are completely free nine star medals you really want to maximize the amount of usap medals you collect during this event so that's why we're on f2p sold today so we could increase our support and have a bunch of nine star medals to put in our support units so you're probably like, well, it's good to know all that information, but how do we actually start getting those medals? And that's what we're going to go over today. So a lot of these medals could be bought through this event rice ball shop. So if you go in here, as you can see, um, you could get the new Kung Fu Dugongs as well as free, free unit right there and a bunch of stuff here. But what we're going to focus on is these medals. So. I recommend picking these ones up and once you get all those you can pick up these older Usa ones too which is what i'm gonna do and i will try to get the kung fu dugong as well on f2p soul but right now my main focus is these medals so 
how do we get these rice balls? We're gonna go over here. They did give out 200 off rip and they should be in your inbox once you claim everything. So grab those 200 ones, but you wanna get more of them. So you go under the missions and you wanna go under event. And here, as you can see, there's a bunch of ways you could get the rice balls. A lot of these require you to have a friend or alliance member to get them in the new rush battle mode. So if you guys are looking for people to, you know, party up with, you could join the discord and just ask around and just ask for help on this specifically. So yeah, definitely check that out. But a lot of these other ones you could do by yourself as well. Achieve at least 150 uh, KO points. So just KO a bunch of dugongs and use only red element. Uh, use only blues, use only greens. So you get the idea. You could just spam these rice balls and that's what we we're gonna do today. Also make sure to actually pick up this free to play Kung Fu Jugon unit. And as you can see, all the missions are here. Once you get a bunch of rice balls, you could buy a few of him. And once you get him to like four star or whatever, you could just bring him out in survival 100, bring him out in 60 second battle and upgrade him a bit. And you just keep getting frags for him. So. Make sure you're doing that as well. All right, before we start banging out some rush battles, I'm already gonna buy a few of these medals because of course we got the 200 free ones. So I'm gonna buy all these out right there. Look at that. So claim all those 500. So everyone should be able to get that amount, like, you know, all for it. And we could get some more, but actually uh, for now, I'm gonna get my Kung Fu Dugong, get a, get a bit of him going. I do want him as well because he's actually a solid like three star you know i'm not gonna lie like uh, <laughs> you should pick him up as well but that should be good right there that should be good right there and a bit more of like that let's go we got kung fu jugon on f2p so love to see it um we'll take that we'll take that and let's get some of these metals upgrading already while we're here so craft event Got a bunch of these. How much can we make? 10. Oh, oh, we can make a bunch already. 10 more. All right, that should be good. And we're gonna go to upgrade. And honestly, I don't have like an insane amount of hammers here, but I'm actually gonna use my hammers for this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna use my hammers for this a little bit. So let's get these going. All right. Let's use uh, use up hammers on. Look at that. Boom. Three star trait right there. And then we do another one. Even though it's 4.5%, like super low percent, still a three star trait. And then the final one right there. Nine star metal right there. Nine star metal. And this one I'll just keep going legit. This one I usually like to just leave at that amount. So we'll do that one legit, but I'm going to hammer up a bunch of these just to show you guys how much my support is going to increase with this so this is this is amazing bro i love that bandai actually drops these types of medals in the game because it makes it much easier for new players to get their support like already in in good shape you know because medals nice star medals is a pain to get it takes a while to get like i can't lie but this is beautiful. Look at like this is free nine star medals, bro. Come on. What are you guys waiting for? Like, what are you guys waiting for? Get these medals upgrading for real. If you're wondering how much you actually need, uh, which I'm wondering right now myself, but I'm going to show you guys. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I can show you guys how. So assuming every character in your support is a six star, eventually they will be. So, you know, just just assume they are. So assuming they are six star, that means each of them needs three medals and we have 10 characters per support. So that means we need 30, we need 30 medals, right? But if you want to go above and beyond, you could say, well, I have five teams here. So you're actually going to need 30 times five, which is 150, which is a lot of medals to be upgrading. But honestly, if you could do it, if you could do it, man, like might as well because you'll be set for support medals for life in opbr you'll always have like as you'll always have medals for your support 
every team you have even if they're all different color teams like this is a red team blue team green team your mixed team another mixed team you know something like that you could still have support for all different characters anyways let's continue upgrading our medals here and just keep it going keep it going i'll probably hammer until like um i feel like there's no need to really hammer that much because i don't want to use up all my hammers here obviously you want to keep them for actual like good medals not saying this is not a good medal but this is mainly like i'm i'm not doing this for the purpose of actually using this metal on my unit um, i mainly just want it for my support characters right so i do want to keep my hammers for an actual op metal for example like a lucy metal like any luffy metal that drops you want to go crazy on those so yeah also keep that in mind before you spend all your hammers you know what i mean all right so we got seven so far seven so far we need we need at least 30. We need at least 30. And then after that, if I get more, it's a W. If not, whatever. But we need at least 30 by the end of this event. So let's let's keep upgrading some. I got seven right now. All right, I'm just about getting to the danger zone here, low-key, with my, with my hammer. So I'm going to do, like, one more. And then just leave it. I'm just going to start doing it regularly. And then, yeah. I'm, I'm getting super low on hammers here. Like, it's crazy. That's right, gonna be my final one. Boom, looks good. And then this one, I'm just gonna upgrade like I usually do. I usually do the first one with hammers and then let it do the rest. Cause I'll come back after eight hours, you know? And then upgrade the 12 hour one. So leave that be. Let's go take a look at how many medals we got. So for my support units, now look, we could start, first of all, I want all my clue units in here. So try to make a blue team, but I'm um, base it off level cap. And what we got here, ooh, ooh. Hold up, maybe we could do a little something, something here. So this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. And then these characters, maybe you could replace a little bit. Definitely replace Kanjuro there. And Kurobi might be good to put in here instead of Uffi. Just because he's higher level. And tags, I'm still not worried about tags. That's a whole different beast. That's a whole different beast. We're just gonna be focusing on percentage for now. Tags is once you actually start getting six star characters. Then then it gets a little fun. I'm not gonna lie. Like Tags is a super fun aspect for me, but that's more late game. All right, so we're gonna start with 110.6% here. And some of these characters are still missing medals and stuff. And most of them just don't have nine star medals on. So let's start putting in some nine star medals in here. I don't know how this one, oh, that one's still upgrading. So boom, already. All right, we already going up in percent. That's already 1% right there. Let's keep it going let's keep it going oh my goodness oh my goodness we better upgrade support for real for real let's go i need i need 30 man i really need 30 but we're low on we're low on hammers all right so we can't be going crazy with it and give this luffy some oh look there's some nine star medals in here we can keep that Who's, who's we missing here? Our pro we get some. Boom, boom, boom. That looks good. 115. And we're still missing some nine star medals. So we already upgraded it by a bunch, but let's see if we have some more nine star medals here. Ah, we don't have nine star completely. I have nine star completely. Some of these other characters might, so I'm gonna do characters who have equipped medals maybe the shanks got some Let's see what he got nah he don't but i do want to take off medals from characters that aren't even in the support right now so we're gonna, gonna remove those Let's remove all these and these guys right here take the medals off from them even though they're not like medals that really are relevant 
All right, so now everyone who has medals on is in here. All right, that's how we want it. I want to keep it nice and organized. So all these characters got nine star medals on the top. This guy, what's he rocking? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the highest medal they can get. Just wanna check everyone. We don't want no five star medals or nothing. And even these could be improved, you know what I mean? Give them that. And then Kurobi, you gonna get that. We're still missing a few nine star medals, right? But look at that, 117.7% right there. Let's go, baby. And honestly, I might even switch Dofi out for like a Roby or something and then boom, just get my support even higher. Just use a Roby as a runner because we don't need two attackers. So look at that. Shanks is going to be rocking 122.6% support now instead of 110 support. So already getting my support up there. Let's go. All right, so I do want to bang out as much rush battle as I can here. Uh, because we want to get Kung Fu Dugong, of course, as high as I can. But of course, we want Bryce Balls for the actual medals. That's the whole goal here. But yeah, let's see what we could uh, do. Invite some people maybe to carry us. But let's go. All right, let's go cook up these uh, Kung Fu Dugongs here with Shanks. Um, all right, <laughs> the king cooking up. So I'm just going to spawn trap this area maybe or... I'm still, I'm still like learning the movements, on, <laughs> the movements on this. Okay, wait, what the? So, what's up now? Mm -hmm. Honestly, we should switch areas, but I guess this works. Plus, plus, Shanks could like really stack up on here. This is nice, actually. It's really nice. I mean, you don't really need stacks for these guys, but I guess. Honestly, I'm not doing much, but I need to. I need them KO points. Damn, I only got. I don't got much KO points. You gotta look for the red one that spawns. It's the 20 point one. There we go. Come on, someone triggered. There we go. I forgot what the mission was, but I think we needed like. What, 120 maybe? Something like that. So, let's see if we could snag a few more points. This guy taking all the kills, man. I need something. I need something. Mm, there we go. That's what we needed. 20 pointer. 20 pointer, man. Alright, sorry, little Kung Fu Dugongs. It had to be done. It had to be done. Just call me Anakin Skywalker. Oh, shit. Let's go. All right, I was definitely getting carried out here, but you know that's what it—that's what it takes. <laughs> that's what it takes. But look at that, 6.2. I do have a lion's boost on, so it's a little easier. And yeah, just gotta bang these out. You'll get a bunch of rice balls. See, I'm already stacking up. And also keep in mind, you do want to create teams while you have the chance, because if you create the team, it doesn't use your actual. Uh, boss tickets or rush tickets now so as you can see i have 40 and if i go ahead and make it make a team i'll still be at 40 but it'll use my team ticket thingies all right let's go let's go time to beat up these kung fu dugongs real quick <laughs> and this is gonna be my final room that i could create and then the rest i'll probably have to bang out just with uh, other people's rooms or just you know like randoms that also works but let's go and uh cook these guys up real quick boom let's go oh the lucky soul survivor the soul survivor all right boom hit you with that i'm missing everything hello these guys like are hard to hit i'm telling you oh damn oh damn <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come here, Kung Fu Dugong. Oh, here we go. The big pile right there. Big pile. These guys trying to steal my food. Let me feed, man. Let me feed. Oh, the Kamusari is going crazy. Roger's probably good in this, actually. Roger's probably really good in this. Now I think about it. 
All right, look at that. So we got what, 16 rice balls right there. Easy, easy game. And that's all it takes, really. You just gotta bang out this new rush battle mode and you're already completing challenge battle and getting a bunch of uh, rice balls right there. That's how you do it. So that's what I'm gonna focus on doing an F2P soul. Just grind a bunch of those uh, rice balls and with those, I'm going to buy the metals, which I pretty much bought a bunch. But like I said, 30 is the bare minimum you need. And above that, it'll be useful. It'll be useful still just for support metals. But of course, I also want my Kung Fu Jugon to as high level as he can be. So we're going to keep getting him as well. And yeah, that's what F2P Soul is looking like. We didn't do too much league battle this episode, but like I said, the focus of today's episode was going to be showing you guys how important those new medals are because it's literally free nine star medals. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty much the focus of today's video. Look at that. Nine star. We got hella nine star medals, bro. And this is only the beginning. Once we upgrade all these, once we upgrade all these, it's over, bro. Like I said, 30 minimum. And 150 if you really want like all all five teams to have support <laughs> like maximum support so yeah don't miss out on these usa medals and it's not just these ones it's the other ones too that i haven't bought they're in the shop as well you could also get those and i recommend you do get both because why not but yeah that's how you get overpowered support and i hope you guys found this video helpful definitely leave a like if you did Subscribe to the channel if you're new, of course. Join the Discord, and I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video. Peace.